Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. This is Edit 53 Diecast and today we're going to take a look at this amazing assortment of Hot Wheels. Uh, all of these amazing Hot Wheels are a birthday present to me for my wife. Thank you babe for all of this. And can't just wait to show them all of this to you uh, in much in depth. So we're gonna take a look at this one by one. Before we look at this awesome assortment of Hot Wheels, we're gonna start with opening this box right here. This is Hot Wheels that I get from a local auction. Let me get my trust. Uh, not knife, this is like a scissor. Okay, open sesame and let's see what we got. All right, first we got this, the tea bucket, oh yeah, from the Hot Wheels Classics, that's pretty cool, wow, this is the first time I see this in person, the tea bucket, uh, I'm planning to change the wheels on this, turn it into uh, real rider tires, with a white wall, that's gonna be pretty nice. Look at the detail on the engine right there, so cool. And the blister itself already start to turn into yellow, so I'm just gonna crack it open. Just crack it open right here, I know, right? Let's look. Wow, that is just amazing out of the package wow look at that there's just so much chrome out of your eyes right there wow Ooh, look at that it's so pretty got this cool tempo right here and the paint is just so shiny it's almost hurt your eyes and you got the tea bucket right there very small the steering wheel it's really cool the exhaust are made out of metal but the the engine is plastic that is just an, an awesome piece absolutely love that let's put that back in the blister for now just gonna see what other we got and next up we got the Second wind. Absolutely loving this one because if you look at that, it might remind you of something. It looks like a speed racer car. But I'm pretty confused why they didn't just, you know, license the speed racer. I mean, Hot Wheels are pretty big, and this is from the 1996. Why didn't do they just you know do the licensing on this and just make it into a Mach, Mach 5 I think it was Mach 5 on the Speed Racer I mean look at that that's a 100% Speed Racer there but they just name it Second Win I don't know what's behind this why Hot Wheels decided to name this as Second Win if you guys know about what happened with this one please let me know let me know down in the comments below. Up next, what? I don't remember I read on this. This is the uh, Power Pistons. Okay, that's pretty cool. And yeah, I bid on this one because this is the one in the Hot Wheels Velocity X video game. And yeah, I'm collecting all of the Hot Wheels Velocity X game cars and just gonna need the uh, Shadow Jet and the uh, Flash Fire also the Solar CX-4 so those are the Hot Wheels that I, didn't, I, I haven't find this yet I'm glad to have this one on the collection and let's see what do we got next oh yeah Oof. 
Yeah, I love this one. 56 Ford truck with the opening hood because this is the first edition, so it still have that opening hood features. Can seems to open it from inside the blister, but yeah, got a plastic base. You can see there's a genuine Ford parts. I think this was a pretty popular casting, so never actually had one. So this is pretty nice to see it first time ever. This looks really cool. Look at the engines. There's a the intake there. That's pretty nice. It's pretty cool. I love to change all of those cars with a different wheel. Now this is the AMC Javelin. Oh yeah. Man, I'm just a sucker for American muscle cars and I why there is an art there's the sticker is kinda blocking the car. Let's hope it's not gonna left or residue. Oh well. This went well. Okay, it's just gonna Well, I think it's gonna need some uh intensive uh, rip it open. I'm gonna rip this open anyway, so let's see it up close. Wow. AMC Javelin, look at that. That's I love it with this paint paint scheme. It's almost like a real version of the race car. I don't really know, but yeah, from this side it's pretty good. You just the door handle there, missing a little bit of a tempo, but on this side it's missing a lot of tempos. Which is kinda sucks, but you know what? That what happened. I don't think I could fix that with a Sharpie because I don't have a blue Sharpie right now. But definitely gonna change this into a real rider tires. Probably a dip disc chrome five spoke wheels. That looks pretty nice. I love it. Oh, what we got next. Oh, a short cart custom Ford Bronco. Wow. You know, not a lot of new Hot Wheels really excites me, but this one is just... It's just cool. Absolutely have to own this one. You got the HW graphics, I think, on the side there. Plastic parts, top, the front. You got no tailgate in the back. Pretty cool. Got big wheels. Also, gotta be cool with the real rider tires. You could add a little bit more details on the front there, and it's just gonna blow your shocks off. But man, this is cool. Okay, uh, don't have much car left. Up next, we got the Toe Jam in red color. Is that supposed to be like that? The Hot Wheels are a little bit not in center, but more into the left. Kind of a bit weird, but I'm glad to have this one. This is a Toe Jam, a fantasy car, and it appears on the Hot Wheels Turbo Racing video game. But weirdly enough, in that game, you can have that car without the cheat code. You cannot unlock that car, but that car is in the game, and you could play that. Uh, using a cheat code, but man, I'm glad I have this one. I've been wanting to have this uh, toe jam since I was a kid, but never actually found them in the packs. But hey, look, I found the color, the one with the color that I'm looking for. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, absolutely stoked to have that one. We got two car left, and it is a 31. Duesenberg, yeah, 31 doozy, that's cool. 
I think this was an old casting. Let's see. Um, 1976. Dude, that's a long, long gone time. I haven't been born that time yet. But man, this thing is looking sweet. Got red paint job and it's metal on metal. So it's pretty nice. Look at the front right there. And how could you tell? Is it a doozy or not? If it has that looking like lip front bumper. It is a doozy. And if you're looking on a real Duesenbergs, it has like uh uh, what is it on the front on the uh, radiator caps right there the ornament it's gonna have that pointy sharp uh, what is it called I don't really remember but it's good like ornament sharp looking thing on the radiator caps and you know it's a doozy and doozy was like a very expensive car back in the day so it's like a Cadillac it's pretty cool to have one of these and um, thinking to change this into a real rider tires too the white wall and everything would look super nice glad to have this one on the, the collection next the hummer ev from the barbie movie yay this is the can hummer absolutely loving to have one of these in the collection and yeah modern hot, hot wheels problem the underside is a little bit dull look at that got nothing got nothing on the underside of the car you compare it with the 99 first edition look at that wow a big downgrade isn't it mm -hmm. what do you think or maybe you wanna say hey the older one is not having that a lot of a uh, details but look at that you got some exhaust there the wheels that's quite a downgrade don't really liking the new Hot Wheels castings but the castings looks good even it has the side mirrors on there which is kind of unusual for Hot Wheels but the uh, underbody is just I know it's an electric vehicle it's not supposed to have like an exhaust on the bottom and or everything like that but man, at least you do something like a little detail right there. I think it could improve the model a little bit. I, I think they're just saving their money to, you know, produce the body to looks much more accurate today. But yeah, see there, there's a lot of tampos. The rear tail lights has tampos, Hummer, you can see there, even the... Uh, brake lights in the middle there on the tailgate it's tampo it's pretty cool pretty neat and i think there's a little difference between this uh, hummer ev from the barbie movie versus the uh, non barbie movie hummer is there's this part right here on the front on the f between the front window and the b pillar there is uh, the t tops right there on the uh, Hummer EV, that's not the Barbie movie version. I think there is not, there is nothing there. It's just like an open roadster. But on the Can Hummer version, there is that. I think that's pretty unique that Hot Wheels have to do that. In the front there, I got the Hummer logo too. And all tampos. Pretty cool. Just not a big fan of the bottom. Okay, so. We're gonna start from the bottom and see here. This is the Hot Wheels from Larry Wood Garage. This is the Purple Passion Woody. I just love the Purple Passions. I'm a big fan of Purple Passions. I have Purple Passion, but never actually own the uh, the Woody version. And if you see in here, wait, hold on a second. The camera just not. Adjusting nicely. Kind of lost there. There we go. You see there, there is the, uh, a little bit of a ghost flame, ghost flame happening right there. And the ghost flame goes into the 
wood panel right there. That's pretty nice. Looking pretty pretty neat, huh? And the good thing about the old Hot Wheels, I think this was like 2000. Well, it's even 2009. I thought it was 2012. It's 2009. The cool thing about the old Hot Wheels is on the rear pillar right here, there is no there is no rivet right there. If you see the newer Hot Wheels casting, they're gonna have a rivet right there, and I think that just looks so bad. It just makes the Hot Wheel looks ugly, and and this one, it just looks great. It looks flush and nice. Just looks correct. Even you got a surfboard on the back. That's pretty cool. Not sure if that surfboard, uh, you could take that or not. Is it a separate piece? I think it's just like connected to the interior. But it's got a metal base, got a metal body, so it's metal on metal. It's real rider tires. It's a white wall, five spoke wheel. Very nice. I think a lot of uh, Hot Wheels Garage uses a lot of these wheels. Okay. Up next we got these, well this is not Hot Wheels, this is a Matchbox and this is a Premier Collection. It's a 57 Bel Air. You're gonna see a lot of 57 Chevy here today with me. But this is the Matchbox version which got a real rider tires. I never ever had a matchbox with a rear rider tires before. I think they do do a real rider tires again uh, these days as a super chase version. It's like essentially like a treasure hunt of matchbox, but you know, back in the day, the premier collections they do this, and it's got a good year tempo on there, which is pretty cool. It got the fuely uh, license plate there. Headlights, even the V logo there is painted gold. You got the uh, silver trim on the side. You could open this up, and it's got tampon on the back as well. And the cool thing is, if you look at the interior, it's a two tone interior, which is pretty nice for a little six, 164 die cast. It's pretty cool. You got a two-tone interior. Now that's a premier. Absolutely loving uh, to own one of this. Moving on to since 68. This is the Rat Baron, Tom Daniel Rat Baron. Uh, actually looking for the red color, but you know what? In the black, it just looks so amazing. Absolutely loving this Rat Baron. It is, uh, you can see there is the Hot Wheels Vintage logo in there. So this is not the, uh, like the original Red Baron because I think of the original Red Baron, this is not a, it's not a stub like this. It's going to be pointy. That's the, how you, uh, indicate that it is a older Red Baron. But to own this, this is pretty cool, it's pretty nice if you look at the engine right there. It's got a 6 exhaust, so it's a straight 6 motor, it's pretty cool. Detail on the back, and it's uh, their road to Baron. You don't know what that means, but it's looking pretty sweet. It's metal on metal. Up next, we've got the Hot Wheels Boulevard Chevy Bel Air 1957. Again, I told you we're gonna see a lot of <laughs> 57 Chevy today, and this one is an absolutely must have to me. It's the combination of everything is just nice. I love the orange, I love the wheels. This is the deep dish five spoke wheels. The American Torque Trust, but look at that, it's black, it's dark, and it's got a chrome outer rings, which just looks pretty cool, I love that. The hood's open, and you got the details on the, uh, on the hood there. And the coolest thing is, you got this Bel Air only 
side panel right there. It even says a Bel Air right there. So it's pretty cool. Unfortunately, on the rear, there's no chromes or rear tail lights. But the front got the headlights and the Chevy logo. This is absolutely pretty nice. And next, we got the Auto Milestone Hot Wheels. This is the 59 Cadillac Eldorado convertible. And there you see there is Hot Wheels Milestone 2007. It's got a nice scallops on the side. The color combo is pretty cool. The white wall tires, the deep dish white wall tires, the white interior just looks super cool. I love this thing. And I love the packaging of this thing because it has this really weird shape to it. I never actually own any of Hot Wheels with this kind of blister. And this is not a protector, this is like a this is how the packaging was. So if you want to open this, it's going to be a little bit uh, pain in the butt to open this one. But I'm never going to open this one because I just love the overall package of this. If you can see there is a 59 Caddy tail lights. Next we got this. The, uh, this uh, my very, very first Hot Wheels treasure hunt, thank you so much babe, because I just love this one, the Flash Rider with these red dip dish wheels and those white wall tires, that's just so cool, two tone colors, this is like a proper hot rod, got the flame logo, uh, flame tampo on the top, on the hood, right there, which is nice, and on the back, you got the TH, TH logo, and there's a, uh, I don't know if you could read that or not, but there's a 10th anniversary of Treasure Hunt, so this is a 2005, and Treasure Hunt was released like in the 1995, so it was been 10 years of Hot Wheels doing Treasure Hunt, this is like their 10th anniversary, and you could see all of the cars available on 2000. Five. I love that. And this is what I'm talking about. This is the protector. So you can see it much more clearly. But unfortunately, uh, the packaging already going yellow too. So it's not really like... Oh, there you go. Now you can see it much better. There's a Hot Wheels 10th anniversary right there. And the flames. Which I think there is something in there. I don't really see it on top there. You got a really nice detail in there. You got a plastic base. Very nice treasure hunt. Can't wait to have another treasure hunt in the future. And then we got this. This is the Hot Wheels final run from the 2002. So, this is like a very, very awkward and weird packaging, but I just love it because I never actually have a Hot Wheels Final Run before, and this is like a very unique presentation that they chose to put this big Final Run logo up here. And it is a Firebird Funny Car. So, Final Run is a retiring model and all the tools destroyed so in 2002 this is like the last run of this car this casting and after this they just destroyed the tools so they cannot do any more of this car with this tooling so they just destroy the tools and and that's it this car is just over so for the last the final run they did uh, pretty cool tires on it Got a deep dish chrome wheels with the Goodyear tires. And look at that, the engine is made out of metal. And this is metal on metal. This is pretty nice. If you can see there, there's a, still a Pontiac Firebird logo. 
the fire chicken and you could see there's a final run 2002 stamp out there pretty nice on the side there's a Hot Wheels logo and on the back even the parachute or stamp out is the quality of this is just pretty nice the headlights even the Pontiac logo on the middle those are just that's just so cool you could see the color is just otherworldly I really wanted to try to open the, this one but again this is not a card protector this is the way how this Hot Wheels came so you cannot open this so you have to literally cut this open and it's just sad to do it why don't you just you know make a card protector because if you can see there there is another packaging inside of this so why don't you just make this openable this final round thing and not just make it into like one package like this which is kind of unfortunate but that's a cool presentation okay now let's move on to the back this is a 30th anniversary this is the authentic commemorative replica of the 1977-57 Chevy this is one of a popular casting of the 57 Chevy again another 57 Chevy this came from a flying colors from 1977 and this is the replica of that vehicle this is you see there a limited edition for the adult collector which is seeing the, the the package is just very unique it's almost like a Barbie package to me to have this uh, uh, transparent plastic up front here's on the back if you want to see it you could pause the video but there's the 57 Chevy with the red line it's got no tampo on the front no tampo on the back it's just oh uh, there, actually there's a Hot Wheels logo on the back I think you can see that so the tempo is just only on the side basically but yeah it's it's a very unique uh, presentation again 30th anniversary 30th, 30 years of Hot Wheels this is a 98 release they don't do stuff like this anymore which is I think uh, stuff like this just have a really nice presentation it just you know you could tell it's a special Hot Wheels when you package it like this next we got this D snake and mongoose man I just love the snake and mongoose so first we're gonna look at the snake here you can see there, there's the, uh, this is the Hot Wheels Team Transport Series. And that's a Don Home Snake. Just love the casting of this one. This is just a really nice, even the truck looks almost as accurate as the real one. It's pretty cool. Even though it's just a retro rig. But here's the funny thing. On the uh, Mongoose they only said it's a Plymouth Duster funny car and on the snake you have to put the 72 Plymouth Cuda funny car uh, to you this might be not a big problem but to me seeing this thing I, I don't really follow the uh, snake and mongoose uh, story here not born just yet not really researching on snake and mongoose you just know the snake and mongoose was a thing back then it's uh, really cool and it's have a cuda I love a hemi cuda but the, I don't know if the snake actually raced in 1972 or not but for me that's not a 72 Plymouth cuda this is a 1970 cuda 70, 72 cuda have a circular tail lights on the back and this is not clearly this is a tri bar which is this 1970 CUDA 
and this is not the 71 because the 71 have this slits on the side and different front grille so it's kind of weird why did you put the 72 here I mean Hot Wheels could just get away with the Plymouth Hemikuda funny car without the year that would work just fine but I think they do a lot of uh, another casting of the uh, another version of this casting which doesn't have the snake logo in there and do they still use the 72? I don't know now let's take a look at the uh, mongoose there's the back sorry if you could s if you could not see well through the plastic I'm not gonna open this one I'm sorry I'm just gonna show you like this and the cool thing is look at the top of the truck there you got the uh, horns and you got the lights there it's pretty nice and even the plastic the the plastic part of the truck right there in the front it's got tampos you got front headlights and got the uh, uh, side markers there indicator lights whatever I never seen that before it's pretty unique the trucks have different wheels this one looks like it's five spoke uh, slots and this one looks like uh, just a uh, old classic tires and both of these cars just have amazing details even the arts on on the top it's just nice love the snake and mongoose and up next we got this blown delivery let me open the uh, protector first so we're gonna see the car much clearer wow that that's the blown blown delivery such a big and heavy casting this is this is pretty heavy because you got a metal base and you got a metal body and that's just a big metal block right there with the really really detailed engine right there I absolutely love that a supercharged uh, motor right there I don't know if this is a V8 or not because I think it has a I think it has a 10 exhaust so I presume this is like a V10 probably I don't know but that just looks so cool and the tempo work right there I got number one there I don't know if there's number two or three or whatever the next is this has got the factory seal 2016 got the red line diff dish five spoke wheels torque truss wheels pretty nice absolutely love this this is the bottom Casa 2010 Blown delivery, Malaysia base. It's pretty cool. Absolutely love this blown delivery. I just wish Hot Wheels do a lot more hot rod these days. Now this what I the very first RLC Hot Wheels I ever have. This is the 2020 Wheelies Gazer 1941. This is from 2020 uh uh, selection series from RLC so what you do is I think if you join the RLC club member you could uh, uh, participate to choose the paint the combination of the car and you get uh, what are you voting so if you could see there's the selections is actually uh, elections so it's gonna it's like involving you to make the Hot Wheels itself this is the information on the back you could pause the video and let's open the protector again to see the Hot Wheels much more clearer and dude just check that out I'm a little bit bumped because this was like open right here it's a little bit crack on the side you know I'm gonna open this probably later I'm gonna make a separate video on that but look at this isn't that pretty wild blue the color in this one is just absolutely outstanding 
super cool color the engines detail right there oh boy look at that even the the belt line has a black paint on that and it that looks like a hammy engine to me because you got a uh, orange block right there I don't know do Chevy do orange block too I think they do but you can see there's a heat happening on the exhaust there it's pretty nice pretty cool looking you got the uh, real side sponsor there you can see there's a mister gasket her shifters hooker headers and etc 392 engine so this is a 392 Hemi but I think on the other version they do uh, 426 Hemi I think on the bloodshot version there's you got the painted tail lights too uh, and on the inside there's a separated steering wheels got painted steering wheels and the seat got the you might not gonna see it but there is a seat belt on it and it's painted so it's pretty detailed for a really really little hot wheels this is my hand right here this is like a very small hot wheels and it's amazing how they could put a lot of detail into that absolutely outstanding the temple work on the front this looks really nice this is the bottom and this is really really shiny chrome on the bottom there it's pretty cool you could even see through the car on the back wow just love this 41 wheelies gazer I think this is like one of the coolest redline club hot wheels which in my place is not really appreciated that much so yeah I just love to have this one forgot to mention it's got who's your wheels as well very nice and now for the things that are really 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 adore this is the Hot Wheels oil can 66 Pontiac GTO wow this is from the Detroit Finals series this is the limited edition from 17,000 uh, sorry, uh, 7,000 and just look at that paint oh boy, look at that on the front even you could see that the engine is pretty accurate and you know what accurate is? it's got a non-functional hood scoop <laughs> because the real Pontiac GTO doesn't have it uh, doesn't have that functional hood scoop but yeah you know, it's because on the wheels just and this is on the top we got the simulated tires simulated rubber on top and it's got a really neat uh, top design like uh, wheels duh but the unfortunate thing about this is you're gonna always display it like this and dust is just gonna accumulate on these holes right here and it's just so hard to clean so that's a bummer but this is where before Hot Wheels turned this into a cardboard card box uh, like this paper here so there's the in info on the back about the Pontiac GTO This is the first time ever I held my hand on this. Never had a chance to open this up and look at how it's open, but see here to open, remove tape from the tabs, straighten the tabs, hold the base, and gently pull up to the top separate. So, you know what? We're gonna do that. Let's try that. Let's do this together, shall we? Oh man, I don't think it's gonna be easy, so all you have to do is to remove all of these uh tape right here. Ah 
Okay. Well, Race Groove really said it's gonna be a pain in the butt to open all the one of this, so I think it's safe to say I'm gonna open this up for another video. So until that video happens, thank you very much for watching. I really have to save this funny video from that dirty, cheeky little rubber bands right there because that's gonna broke the paint out of the Pontiac GTO which is kind of unfortunate why Hot Wheels do that but maybe that's like the best thing they could do back in the day they just don't know what's gonna happen later after 20 years inside the packaging so there's that guys The coolest, oh yeah, forgot to say about this, the coolest thing about the, uh, this is like the 100% Hot Wheels. So in back in the day, this is like the RLC version of the Hot Wheels. Now we got the RLC, which is just a uh, flimsy packaging. I don't think the presentation is really nice, except on this really cool Hot Wheels chrome there. But it's just basically, it's a, it's a blister card. And I don't think this is a nice presentation. I just wish they still do this because I know this uh, stuff like this is much more expensive to make. But I do see the RLC on the Ryu Hasada's NSX on the, on the the last NSX, you know, with the with the top lights working. They use this again, so they basically just using this type of oil can again to do the RLC and I wish that next RLC cars would do stuff like this again the oil cans because if you can see here the car quality is just almost on par to me but what makes the difference is RLC use the real rider tires and the 100% hot wheels they do uh, a separate a different tool for the wheels so you wouldn't find these wheels on any regular Hot Wheels or uh, real rider Hot Wheels this is like uh, these wheels were made for only for the disc car so that is pretty pretty cool it's like a bespoke wheel for bespoke Hot Wheels and I think on Hot Wheels today that be the Hot Wheels Elite 64 but I don't really have any of that right now. Maybe in a future video I'm gonna do some uh, comparison. But yeah, it's been a long video. Well, thank you so much for watching and I hope to get see you in another video doing a lot of another diecast stuff. So thank you guys for watching. See you on the next video and God bless you. Bye bye.